Hi guys and welcome to TechPaste. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to fix the runtimebroker.exe error on Windows 10. So this error message usually pops up due to corrupted Windows system files or services or even components. So to fix this error, I'm gonna show you a few simple things that you can do in your operating system. First of all, just go into the search box, type in here CMD, right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. This user account control, click on yes. In the command prompt, you're gonna have to paste in four different commands, one by one, and of course, after pasting one, wait for the process to finish, then paste the second one, and so on and so forth. So you're gonna have those commands in the description down below. The first command will be sfc space slash scan. Now, this is the system file checker. It will check for corrupted system files, corrupted important Windows system files and stuff like that, and will try to fix them. What you have to do, just press enter after you paste it in from the description down below. You're gonna see that you're gonna have here a percentage to know when the process is finished. And of course, wait for the process to be finished and you can move on to the second command from the description. The second command from the description is this one, DISM online cleanup image check health. This command will check the health of your system image. The third command will be this one, DISM online cleanup image scan health. This will scan the health of your Windows system image. And the last command from the description will be this one, DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. So basically, this will be the command that will restore the health of your system image. While running these commands, don't worry if they get stuck on certain percentages, just wait and the whole process should be finished. Now, what we can do next to fix this error is to perform a clean boot. So for that, we're gonna press the Windows plus R keys at the same time, Windows plus R from run. And then in the run command, we're gonna type in msconfig and then press enter. In the general tab here, make sure that you have selected selective startup and load system services and load startup items are checked. Now go to the services tab, click on hide all Microsoft services. So basically now you won't see the Microsoft services, only the third party apps that will run when you're starting up your operating system. So with all of them checked, click on disable all and then apply and then OK. So now just restart your system by clicking on the restart button and check if the runtimebroker.exe error pops up again. After the restart, you should be good to go. Of course, you can go back to the task manager by right clicking on the taskbar and then clicking on task manager and then a startup and you can easily enable or disable any program that you want your Windows operating system to open up on a startup. Easy click on an app and then click on enable. So basically now the error should be gone. You should not be receiving that error anymore. Don't forget that all the commands that I've showed you in this video are in the description down below. So get them from there. This was the video for today. I hope it was useful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below with this video and also subscribe to the tech based channel for more great content like this. Until next time, have a nice day.